Duval County's first day of school began with a disappointment for a Jacksonville mom and her teenage daughter. Last month, the teenager got a letter stating that she was accepted into Mandarin's Medical Academy, but then she was refused entrance, and the reason being given should be an alert to all parents tonight. On your side's Ken Amaro is looking into her. That's correct, Jeannie. The family made application for the Medical Academy back in April, received the notice of acceptance in June, and last Tuesday was told the 14-year-old student will not will not be able to attend the academy. Mandarin High, home of the Mustangs, and now a source of disappointment for a 14-year-old student who dreams of becoming a doctor. She wants to be a surgery, doing surgeries. She was accepted into the school's medical academy and then her application was declined. Does She's not refused. make any sense does not make any sense. Josenia Santos says she enrolled her two children at Mandarin High. One is in the 11th grade. The other wants to attend the medical academy. Why my, my, my daughter received this letter? In June, the 14-year-old younger sibling received a letter stating she was accepted into the medical academy. And she was very happy. She, she jumped. No, hey, mommy, I, I got I got I got it. She signed it. But last week, during orientation, the family was told the acceptance letter is no good. Because it, her name was not in the computer. Why? That's where it gets confusing. Does not make any sense for me. I don't understand that. The acceptance letter states, if Mandarin is not your assigned high school, it does not guarantee acceptance. The applicant must fill out a special assignment application. Santos says she did. I take application and fill it out with her and send it in May. The older sibling is now enrolled at the same school without a problem. But the school district says the school reassignment application for the 14-year-old missed the May 15th deadline. Santos is asking, how could it be? If not, no send the letter. Yes. Why send the letter to me? Very good question. The district describes it as unfortunate. A spokesperson says according to its records, the family did not apply for the special transfer in time, and now the school is at capacity. Even so, after we inquire, they say they will reach out to the family and see if this can be resolved. And, of course, I'll let you know. Back to you.